Uh, hey guys, I uh, just want to make sure it sounds okay here, so I'm going to put some loop back so I can hear myself real quick. Doesn't look like it's too loud, but it might be on the, sh the less loud side. Um, Georgie boy, can you hear me okay? Does it sound reasonable to you? I can turn off the background music too. Just fixing OBS settings here. A little quiet. All right, let me see if I can gain, bump the gain up. Uh, ch -ch -ch. It's privacy settings. That's not what I want. Okay, um, I'll just make sure to speak up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go over uh, Victual or stuff for you guys. Um, to do so, I'm gonna have to make a private window here. So let me, uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a second account. This is explicitly against the terms of service of um, Prosperous University. You're only allowed one account, uh, but um, I, I've worked with the devs before, or, or I'm a moderator for the devs, and they've okayed the fact that I have multiple accounts as long as I don't use them, other than for this purpose, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing here. Um, uh, i got to figure out what my other account is, though. Let's see. One second. Give me one moment here. Sorry, I'm not exactly prepared here, but that's all right. I think I'll probably end up having to just create a new account here, um, which is fine. Um, I've got a production lines, but I ain't got a clue to what to do now. Also, can't say it too long. Okay, so um, I I guess so uh, so unfortunately, this does take a while to go through, right? Uh, okay, I'll see if I can get past the initial part pretty quick for you. Um, so I will skip the part where you kind of decide on the faction. Oh, I'm sorry, decide on the planet. Uh, so in your case, you wanted to do Victualler. Right, and you are, let's see, uh, Inc Incitor is your best bet for that because they have a planet called Promotor. Um, so Promotor's fertility is the best soil fertility in the game. Uh, the water is the second, I'm sorry, third most, third best uh, water concentration in the game. Um, and I'll say this, water concentration is far more important than fertility. Um, the exception to that is a planet called Etherwind, and that's because the fertility is the minimum in the game for that. But we're just going to go with Promotor. We're going to do this. Um, uh, company name, Saga Stream. Name, Saga Stream. And Saga 3. I think is 2 taken? I know, yeah, okay, that's... So let's do Saga 2. All right, so here's where you get started. Um, and I'm gonna go through kind of getting started, like your production lines and stuff like that, and also what to do next. So I'm going to skip the tutorial here because I know how this works. Yeah, skip, okay, I'm gonna skip all this. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna close the map here because it's not as useful uh, 
not terribly useful. So uh, first things first is you start the base. All right, I'm going to click start base. So uh, you have two haulers here, two ships, and they have a bunch of cargo in them. So you can do is you can hit the, the yellow bar here that has the cargo like bar, or you can hit the cargo button. Either way is fine. Uh, and so what we have is we have something called the CMK. The core module kit is provides everything required to build one's first base. And um, you need the CMK is a requirement of the first base. So when you click start base, it says, hey, you, you need 100 MCG, which is micro. If you click on stuff, it'll tell you. It's like Wikipedia in terms of uh, seeing where everything is. But it'll tell you, like, all right, this is made with limestone, uh, silicon ore at 8 BMP, and it takes six hours to make 50 MCG, right? Like, And then you can also click on more stuff, and you can see where that's made. Uh, or you can see what MCG is used in, and etc. So, like, kind of the another 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 thing you want to do is just like click around. So next thing we're gonna uh, build the base. So now it's gonna say, "Hey, base screen." Uh, it switched us to the base screen automatically, which is kind of neat. Actually, this is new. So um, so we're in the base screen now, and it's saying, "All right, recommend starter buildings. You want to build these? We're gonna do this." We're going to click the construct button. So you can click this, right? And this is through the um, recommended starter buildings. Or you can go to BS, view base. And then, so I clicked on view base for Promotor. If you have multiple bases like this, you'll see them listed out. This is my actual account. So you click view base, then you can cl click on construct. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm clicking this and I see, okay, what's going on? I can't, I can't actually build anything, all right? The reason is because in order to build a, a building, you need to have those materials on the planet inventory, right? So I have, thankfully, you know, it, it actually built this screen out for me, which is kind of neat. I haven't ever seen this, but um, I, I can see that there's nothing in that planet inventory. So what I have to do is I have to hit unload, or you can drag and drop, right? You can go blah blah blah, but I'm just going to hit unload. All right, so now I have everything there. So it's saying build two HV1s. I'm going to do that. One, two. Build one rig. So rig is under resources. One. And then one farm, one FP. So farmstead, build one. And then a FP is a food processor. Build the next one. OK. So now, um, now let's make these orders. OK. So. What you want to do here is, if you're just getting started, you do not want to do 20x orders. All that does is it makes it so that you get 160 units in five days for a single order, as opposed to eight units in six hours 39 minutes. So you you pretty much, I mean, some, I mean, you might be, you if you want to play a little slower pace, then you only want to sign in like you know a couple times a day or something, like or maybe even like once every other day. You can pump this number up if you'd like. But uh, generally speaking, when you're starting, you pretty much just want to put it at one and just hit Q a bunch, right? So now I have six times six, I have 36 hours worth of orders there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to start growing crops. So, um, so you have a few options here, right? So you can do, so if you want to make something that feeds the farm food processor here, you need to go through these recipes. And generally speaking, uh, what you're doing is you're making rations. So let's see, production filter, we'll click on rations. And here are the recipes we can use. Okay. So um, what we want to do is there's, there's, there, there's plenty of math here, right? Uh, and I'll go over this in a little bit uh, after, because George Boy wants a, Georgie Boy has, has run, uh, but um, Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the ideal um, recipe, and all of these are the same time, so this doesn't really matter. But the farming bit right matters because there's like, hey, you have a recipe for one water for two beans over five hours versus six water for four beans in eight hours, right? So you need to kind of like do some maths and some spreadsheets to figure out what's the ideal, um, like, ratio of everything right like and, and not only that like in some cases like okay if you wanted to use nut like this guy requires one water for 12 nut for you know what 29 hours and you need to kind of figure out how to balance like um your your orders for that 
because nothing is perfectly lined up, right? So, for example, um, maize or corn, M-A-I, is one day five hours, so you can't exactly just do one order, one order, because it's not going to perfectly line up. You'll have excess maize after a while. Um, but, so, I'm just going to go with the what, what the game recommends, which is, is not a bad recommendation, which is grain... So let's see, it's grain, bean, veg, right? So bean four, veg four. So we'll just do one, one, one. So it's nine hours, eight hours. So it's not gonna be perfect. And eight hours or seven hours. So it's not gonna be perfect ratio, right? So it's a grain, bean, veg. And then you repeat that grain. Nope, that's the wrong grain recipe. Grain, bean, veg. All right, and then after that, so we have our option, what we wanted to use is grain, bean, veg here. So we're gonna do bean, veg, grain here, that one. So we're just gonna queue this a bunch, all right? So now in terms of the orders, we're fine. So next thing you wanna do, okay, uh, is you're going to want to um, grab one of your haulers here and click the fly button. Or you know what, let's, let's take a step back. Let's go to this this map here, and there's 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 a um, something called a commodity exchange in this game. This is kind of the main trading hubs of the game. There is something called local markets, but uh, those are uh, for uh, pro or basic accounts. And honestly, it's when you're starting, you want to use the the CX, which is the commodity exchange. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unclick all this stuff so we can see. And unclick fleet. We're gonna see where the um, the the main commodity exchanges are. Well, you know, we'll leave base on. So it looks like we have commodity exchange here. We have a CX here. We have a CX here, and we have a CX here. These are the four major factions. That you can see the, the colors there. Uh, did I put rat in the food processor in all of them? Um, I just so what it is. Okay, so to explain a little bit here. Sorry, I'm kind of speed running for your sake. Um, there is one active uh, order, and this is because they only have one farm, right? There's one active order of grain that's being grown. After this is done, it's going to start working on beans. After that's done, it's going to start working on veg. Same with this. It's going to work on rat for one, and then after that order is done, it's going to jump to this queue item, right? And if you have multiple buildings, what it looks like is, is this. So what you end up having is you have a bunch of active orders, because I have, let's see, I have 13 um, extractors on this planet. And then I, what I have here is I have a recurring order, which is the pro feature, uh, which is basically like, it'll just keep adding it to the, it'll, it'll just keep adding it to the queue every time there's an empty slot. So I have 13 active orders in one queued recurring slot. So if you had similarly if you had 13 farms right yours would look like you'd have 13 active slots at the top here and then you'd have you'd still only have five queue slots so yeah yeah you could just basically make a bunch of rat i mean that's what you should be doing at the start to be honest um you could weave in some drinking water so that's another option drinking water is something that you need for your workers so um that's what I was going to jump to next. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm just going to just, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to do um, rat. Okay, so back to what we were doing here. What we're going to do is, so we 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 found where we're at, which is our base is right here. It's just a little triangle icon. Alternatively, what you can do is you can mouse over. Um, okay, so, so you're saying, oh, it says I'm missing algae. Okay, so... If you go to the food processor again, there's a drop-down menu, right? So, well, first of, all, first of all, there's production filter, which means, like, hey, what am I making? So select rat from the production filter. After that, there are different recipes for rat, for rations. So the one I chose is the bottom one, which is bean, veg, grain. Coincidentally, or not coincidentally, the game gives you bean, grain, veg to start. It gives you enough for six orders. 
So this recipe is if you if you produce algae, which you you aren't right now, you can replace um, bean for algae, effectively. Or I guess mushrooms is also another option, protein rich mushrooms. So you need to select the right recipe, and then from there you can queue it. Oh, your your pure soup stupidity? No, no, don't worry. This game. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, we've all been there. It's super complex initially. Like, what, once it starts clicking, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. But, like, it, it takes a little bit to get there. It, it totally does. And don't worry. It's it's okay. Don't hesitate to ask in the chats, too. Everyone's super friendly, except for Fire Freak, for whatever reason. He's a jerk. Uh, he's not really a jerk. I'm just joking. All right, so, so now we're looking at the CX, okay? The CX is the main place where we buy materials, okay? So, um... The reason I'm bringing this up, and we'll take a step back here, I guess. If you click Workforce, right, the Workforce button for your base, you'll see, like, okay, my workers require some stuff, right? So they require 4.8 units of drinking water a day, 4.8 rations a day, 0.6 basic overalls, and then there's something called, um, so these are essential, right? These are, like, if you see how it says, like, essential, yes. These, the essentials are provided. There's padded worker overall and caffeinated infusion, also known as coffee. These are not essential. And it's saying, hey, it requires 0.6 units a day versus 0.2 units a day. Now, it's not essential, but right now, the workers are working at, uh, let's see the efficiency. The base efficiency is 88%. So... Um, and I think the math is, I think it's 91% here. Let me see. So there's the handbook, wiki, community resources, not community resources, uh, frequently asked questions. Um, PWO. Should I use luxury uh, consumables such as PWO and cough? So, um, oh, okay. So the, 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 the percentage there is not factoring in... Uh, that's the wrong, this one, okay. So it's not factoring in, so if I go to the rig, the rig says 79%, okay. So this is confusing, and the reason it's confusing is because the HQ bonus, and that's something more advanced, you get, uh, because you're in uh, Promotor space, you get 6% bonus to agriculture and 4% bonus to food industries. So the base, base, meaning like the absolute, like, hey, unbuffed, is 79% with just the essentials. If you want to bump that up to 100, right? So what you can do is you buy PWO and coffee. PWO alone will get you 87%. Cough alone will get you 91%. Both of them will get you to 100%. So um, generally speaking, and the, the, the this explains it, generally speaking, PWO is always worthwhile. Well, coffee requires a deeper analysis. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to first and foremost find what uh, so we're going to look to see where to buy it and that's where we get go to the commodity exchange so the commodity exchange we found it it's this guy right here because this is our base this is where our fleet is too and the commodity exchange is right here and that is where is that commodity exchange it's going to be uh hortus station right here all right it says hortus station commodity exchange another way to do that is to go to the CXL button and then find Hortus Station Commodity Exchange. So we click this this link and it brings up this window. This window is super important to the point where I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to delete this buffer. We're going to click. So if you mouse over the gear and I haven't gone over this, if you mouse over the gear, you have these buttons. You have the horizontal bar, the vertical bar, and the X. X closes it. Horizontal bar splits it, vertical bar splits it the other way, right? And then what you can do is you can click this colon, and then what you can do is you can either drag and drop, so this inner blue part, not the, not, not the window you drag, the inner blue part, you can drag and drop, or you can type the command. So if you click this, you'll see it, hey, it shows up the command. You can copy and paste this somewhere else and hit enter, and it shows up. So conveniently, it's showing us consumables luxury. Say you didn't know that, right? 
and we have coffee that we want to get. So if we go to workforce, we say, okay, all right, coffee. So what you can do is you can click the, the, the red over here. And then we see, all right, coffee. It's coffee, caffeinated infusion. It's luxury consumables. Like that's the category, right? You also have the ticker, right? The ticker is important. You'll get kind of the hang of it. But um, effectively, everything in the game has a ticker that is either, it's one to three, or I'm sorry, one to four t characters. So what you can do is you can do like, hey, rations, right? M-A-T. R A T. So give me the material infor information. That's what MAT stands for. That's the command for rations. You hit enter, and I get this window. It's the same thing as if I clicked rat, right? So if I close this and click rat, it's going to pop up. So I need to buy both caffeinated infusion and PWO. Both of these are luxury consumables, right? That's what the category is, and that's also what this drop down is. So consumables. Okay. So now, um, what, it, what, what you need to do, and this is kind of the base part of the game here, is you need to buy the coffee and the padded work overalls. So let's say we want to buy, let's see. Um, let's say we want to buy five days worth, OK? So five days worth of padded work, work overalls is 0.2 times 5, which is 1. I would need to buy 1. Uh, let's buy two. Let's buy two. Let's, let's get 10 days worth. Okay. So let's go to PWO. Let's click on. So there's a bunch, a bunch of stuff here, right? There's all these numbers right here. And there's like ask amount, bid amount, supply demand. I, you can look at that later. My suggestion to everyone here is to click this orders button. All right. Make this guy bigger. Okay. So what's going on here? Um, this is a list of offers and requests. All these people, all these links are actually people playing the game. If I click on mental home, the user is Kirono, and he's got bases on these five planets, right? These are all people, and what they're saying here is, hey, I'm willing to sell 101 PWO for 284 ICA. ICA is a currency. Um, you can get to your currencies in a couple ways, but the two major ways is you can make a new buffer. So you click new buffer bottom left and you type in F I N L A. So it's financial, it's like balance statement for liquid assets. That's what the L A stands for finance liquid assets. You hit enter. And what you could do is like the rest of the game, you can split this buffer here. I'm going to do vertical and I'm going to drag the inside in there. So I have it there. That's one way. Another way is you click this sidebar at the top left. And that is less ideal because it has a lot of unused space. And you know, screen real estate is kind of important. But you have, hey, I have my ICA. I have my AIC. You'll, you have a 1,000 in other currencies. Apparently, I have contracts too. Oh, right. You have to follow the contract stuff because these are interesting. OK, why? Why did this not fulfill? OK, whatever. Um, that's weird. But I, I guess I just, that's because I skipped the tutorial. But anyways, so I can either, so this person's trying to buy 887 for 200, right? And this one's saying, no, I'm going to sell for 101. I'm going to sell 101 units for 284, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just buy it outright. Or you know what? Let's 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 say I'm flying there and I think the price is going to go down. All right, I'm going to click place order. I'm going to try buying two PWO and I'm going to list it for 250. All right, that's how much I think it's going to sell for. So I, once I hit buy, money's going to be taken out of my account. So it's 474483. Uh, now it's 46983, and you're going to see, hey, look, I have my name is listed up there now. Right, so I have a request for two units of PWO at 250. If somebody wants to sell me those two units, they can. Oh, GL Trades just copied me. How dare you? Um, so so you can do that, right? Alternatively, let's say I just uh, you know what I I'm 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 in a hurry. I just want to get this done, right? I can just buy it for 284 instantly. The way to do that, well, first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to take this order down. The way you do that is you click this CXOS. So 
every every buffer in the game has a bunch of helpful stuff in the top right. So CXOS is own orders. I click that. You can click view. You can see what it is, or you just hit delete. You get your money back, and your name is no longer there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy it for 284. I'm going to hit buy. It's going to cost me 568. Hit buy. Okay. So you'll notice it was 101. Now it's 99. <laughs> you were practicing. It's good. It's good. Don't worry. I'm just messing with you. Um, so uh, so you are GL Trades. Uh, you go to CXOS at the top here. Click that. And then you just click delete. Um, so uh, once you delete that, then you can just buy it outright for 284. So um, next, let's go look for. So, uh, oh. I gotta bring this up because it's important. So I bought it. Now the question is, where did it go? Right? Um, there's a few things that's going on here. Um, because I bought it from the uh, the uh, commodity exchange, and I don't have any storage on the commodity exchange. Uh, what it what the, what the game does is it creates something called a contract. So if you click on the cont top left, or you can do the sidebar, right? But cont, you'll see, all right, I have a contract with the Hortus Station Commodity Exchange. I click View, and it's saying, hey, you need to pick up two units of padded work overalls. Um, so, you know, what you do is you, you, you have a few options there. You can, you, you need to fly your ship. Oh, you're fine, man. All right, how do you buy again? You click the CXPO button, top right. And then if you want to buy it instantly, you type the amount you want and the price somebody's willing to sell it for. And that's how to buy it instantly. Uh, Snake Aim, I've been playing oh, probably five years now, five plus. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to specify for the price limit the price you want to buy it at and the, the price somebody's willing to sell it at. So red is people are selling for that price, and you can buy it instantly. Yeah, perfect. You bought two. Okay, so you don't have you don't have storage on the the uh, station. And to elaborate a little bit here, let's go to the system map here. Uh, I got to close some windows. I'm just going to close them all here. So if we zoom in, I'm going to get rid of the fleet, um, and you'll see that we have promotors here, right, and then Horta stations over here. This little diamond. So you need to literally fly a ship from Promotor to Hortus Station, pick up the goods, and bring it back. Um, and uh, you can do that by so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start flying a ship there, right? So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna find my fleet, uh, and I'm going to type in Hortus Station for the destination, and it's gonna show, it's gonna bring up some options. From there, you click on it. It's going to t auto uh, change it to HRT, which is kind of the ticker for the station. Remember how I was saying like everything has one to four characters for a ticker? And then uh, what I'm going to do is, so uh, thankfully you're in Promotor, right? And these flights take pretty slow. They're actually pretty quick. Like one hour, 10 minutes in this game is ridiculous. Um, Snake, yes, this is a new account. This is a brand new account. Uh, normal circumstances don't allow you to do so because that's against the terms of service. Uh, I've talked to the devs. They kind of gave me a, a permission to do this, assuming I don't use it other than for streaming and just showing stuff off. Um, so, yeah, so you'll, you, this, this time is super, like, this is the fastest time you'll probably get. So you can play with this, right, um, this, this slider. Just be aware that it's it, it, it consumes a different amount of fuel, right? And it's not linear, meaning like, hey, if I spend 120 uh, STL fuel, fuel, it's lower than light fuel, that doesn't mean I'm going to go twice as fast, right? Um, so if I go max, right, I'm going to spend 1,500 units, which is my entire cargo of, of, of fuel, for gaining uh, in comparison to like, 45 minutes, which is 175, right? So you want to play with this. You generally want to put it on the slow end, the low end here to save fuel because fuel costs money, right? Um, 
because if you if you find here like I only have 450 in storage right and uh, if I go back to the CXL so right here so uh, fuel let's do this as an example it's the category for STF fuel is fuels I'm gonna select fuels uh, and I'm gonna click orders and it looks like one unit of SF or STL fuel SF is 12.8 right um, Uh, so you you basically want to like kind of balance like speed and slowness. Not only that, right? You said you have to go to sleep soon, right? So like, in your case, you're not going to be up for when it lands. So just throw it at minimum, and you'll get there in seven hours twenty four minutes, right? So like, there's stuff that you can play with, and um, if like there's no point in landing when you're asleep, right? That sort of thing. So, so that's option number one is you go with a ship. Well, you have to go with a ship nonetheless. Let me let me put it that way, um, to pick it up and click the fulfill button. An alternative here, and this is kind of like not a bad idea in general to do, is you click on CXL or you click on your Hortus Station um, Commodity Exchange, right? And you're gonna see there's a link here. It says Hortus Station Warehouse. Now, what a warehouse is. A warehouse is basically um, storage that you pay a weekly fee on. Um, and what it's saying here is you get a, it's a weekly fee of a thousand, a hundred ICA, and you get 500 tons slash 500 meters cubed, which is the size of your a ship on the, on the station itself. Um, I'll say this, a hundred ICA a week is literal peanuts like literal peanuts just just rent one okay so so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click rent and you're gonna see something happen this screen there's this button that says fulfill it's gonna light up i hit rent and i can light it up so what that means now all right is if i click on the top the left here inventory i can go scroll around look for the warehouse unit i have uh and click open and then after that what I'm going to do is I am going to dock it somewhere on my screen. So I'm going to split this vertically here and throw it in there. Uh, to answer your question, to get back, how do you get back to that rent page? Uh, you click on CXL on the left side. Find your uh, commodity exchange, in which case, if for your case, it's uh, Hortus Station. You click the link for Hortus Station Commodity Exchange. And then there's a link that says Hortus Station Warehouse. Click that, and then you click Rent Unit. Um, from there, what you can do is you can either click on the inventory on the left side, or you can click the button that says Open Store. And store, in this case, isn't like a store where you sell stuff. This is your storage. Um, Gaming VT1, do I give out loans? I do not. So once you've rented the warehouse, what that means is you have storage on the station itself. So what you do is you can start fulfilling your contracts, right? So I'm going to click fulfill. And now all of a sudden it shows up in the Hortus station warehouse. Um, so let's, so going back to things, how we, um, we wanted to buy PWO and coffee. And we said PWO is usually a sure thing. And I agree with that statement to this day. Um, Coffee is kind of something that you need to do some math math on. So um, it looks like coffee is selling for 700 a unit, which is actually quite a bit. What was confusing? I'm sorry. Yeah. Where's the contract? So there's two ways. You can click on Comp on the left side, or you can enable the sidebar, which is the it's SDBR in the top left corner. If you enable that, you'll see a bunch of con you'll see a contract show up on the right side that says pending contracts. If you go to the cons me mechanism, you're going to get a new buffer that shows up, and then you can click, you know, view, and it'll tell you like, hey, um, a, a, some it'll, it'll show you what you need to do for that. Uh, a terminology note: closed does not mean done or like com like finished closed is the contractual legal term for both parties agree um so in case anyone's like getting to that and getting a little confused there
so uh, back to this. Let's start flying there. I'm just going to hit start. It's going to take me 2 hours, 16 minutes to get to Promotor. Great. Uh, so when I get there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do the same thing that we you did at the start of the game, uh, unloading your resources onto the ship, uh, from, uh, from the ship to the planet, but in reverse. So what you'll do is you'll effectively open the ship, and you're going to drag stuff from the, the warehouse to the ship. And then once that's done, you're going to fly back to your main base. Um... Uh, let's see what else we need to do here. But so coffee, like I said, is going for 700 a unit. I'm going to skip that step. Uh, I, it, you can probably do the math there and see if it makes sense for your use case. Um, I would, you know, just my gut feeling right now saying 700 is a little high, but I don't know for sure. I'm not the person to ask in, in, in that regard. Um, but Something else that you can do, and you probably should do, right, is you should probably expand your base with your money that you start with. So, um, a couple things, what you can do is you start off with a lot of fuel, okay? So, uh, this, this, what I'm going to do, or what I suggest somebody, what you do is when you send your ship to the Hortus station, how do you get bought cargo into the warehouse again? Um, click the car contract and then click the fulfill button on the contract. You'll basically do this. It'll, it, you, it'll, if you click the correct contract, you're going to have a button here under commands and it's going to say fulfill. Um, so my suggestion to people when, uh, when you uh, fly to Horde Station is to sell so because you're on Promotor and Horde Station is in system, you don't have a need for faster than light fuel. Faster than light fuel is used for jumps from system to system, right? So if you were here, like for whatever reason, or I don't know, let me see if there's a planet nearby that is like actually used by people. And I can't actually think of anything in this bit area, but whatever. If you were up on a planet here, you would and, and you needed to jump to Horta Station, you would need FTL fuel for this jump here. But because you're in the system, you don't need it. So what you could do is you could sell your FTL fuel. And FTL fuel sells for CXL, Hortus Commodity Exchange, Fuels. It sells for it looks like it's selling for people are willing to buy it for eleven forty. So 11.4 times 300, you can get 3,420 currency. Like, that's that's not a lot, but sure, why not? It's effectively free money. Um, and it's called it, called padded work. Okay, so it's not called that, but what you're going to do is you're going to click BS on the top left, and I'm going to walk you through this. Click on View Base. Click on Workforce. And then what you're going to see is you, you have these materials that you require. And it's called Padded Work Overalls, or PWO. If you click on PWO, the little red icon there, it's going to tell you the category is Consumables Luxury. And... Um, the way to give this to your workers is effectively put it in your base inventory, make it available, and they'll kind of auto consume it. <laughs> you thought we were selling coffee. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip coffee. You can do it if you want. 700 is quite a bit, but um, yeah, by all means, you can certainly order a bunch of coffee. Just keep in mind, coffee requires 0.6 units a day. So if you wanted 10 days worth, you would need to pay. You need to buy what? six six units and what is that that's six units times so we said 700 4200 yeah yeah no problem i'm just going to keep going through this tutorial here uh with the goal of uh 
yeah, so Georgie Boy has to go because th th he was the initial reason I started this, but I'll have this video up on the uh, on YouTube or and it'll be available on Twitch as well. So, so um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to plan to uh, expand our uh, start starting base because we have quite a few funds still. Um, idle money is money that's not growing. So you generally want to be low on your liquid cash. You don't want to have a lot of cash sitting around unless like you don't really have a choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on CXL again. Oh, actually I have it right here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to click on base. We're going to see some, some details first. We're going to click on view base and it says, all right, so we have capacity of 200 and we only require 120 workers. So we can, we can actually get more buildings for 80. We can, we can do 80 more building or 80 more workers worth of buildings. If I click construct, we have a few options. We, we can do more farms, more food processors, or more rigs. So let's see, pioneers, farms, requires 50 pioneers. That sounds like a good idea to me. The reason I'm saying that is because it takes us, let's see, so grain is seven, seven, uh, so let's, let's actually do the correct math here. 38 divided by 60 is what? plus seven okay so that's what we got for that and we're gonna pull out trusty notepad so we have grain is 7.63 hours we have bean at 9 over 60 which is and we said it's 8 hours 9 minutes so 8.15 hours and we have veg, which is nine hours, 10 minutes, and I can't do math. Um, 10 divided by 60 is 0.16, yep. Okay, so it's not, it's six, nine hours, 10 minutes, which is 9.1617 hours. Okay, so all together, we're talking what? 7.63 plus 8.15 plus 9.17. Tw it's, it's 25 hours. Is that right? Yeah, 25 hours for um, getting four units of each. Um, so that's four orders in 24 hours. However, if we see the rats here, it's six hours, 48 minutes. 48 divided by 60 is 0.8, so it's 6.8. How many of those can we do in a day? Actually, it's pretty balanced, to be honest. It's close enough. I would say it's relatively balanced, uh, now that I think about it. So it looks like one farm feeds one food processor, which is kind of scary. Because it's it's um, four units. No, I take that back. So, so we do three and a half orders every 24 hours. And then every 24 hours we get four units. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty balanced. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with rigs. And by the way, you can see where all the spreadsheeting comes along, right? You can do all sorts of math and figure out the perfect ratios and figure out everything like that. But let's see, let's assume we just want to build some more. We're going to get some more water going because it looks like we're consuming quite a bit of water. Let's see. Uh, so it's every 24 hours we're doing roughly 13. But you know, let's just let's just let's just say what we did the math and we decided it's water we want. So we want more rigs. So each rig requires uh, 30 pioneers, which means we can do two for an additional 60 workers because we have 80 available. Uh, so let's see how much what it would take for us to buy uh, two rigs. So let's click CXL. Let's go to Hortus, Hortus Station Commodity Exchange. Um and we have to we need 12 bsc per rig so let's click bsc let's see what it is it is a construction prefab construction prefab okay uh and we're looking for bsc bsc let's click the orders button and they go for about 1450 i'm sorry 1540 per so what would that cost us for one of them so 16 12 we said 12 BSC, 1540. It would cost us 18,480, which we can afford. You, the reason I bring this up is because it literally tells you here. 
So another thing I could have done, right? And this, so I, I went through all the clicking steps to get to this point. Um, that's not strictly required. Um, so what I would do is because what ends up happening in this game is you learn all the commands and stuff like that. Uh, you you start to kind of just know what the commands are. So uh, so for example, rig. I want to see what BSC is worth. C X O B space B S E dot I C one. So C X O B is commodity exchange order book. That's what the O B stands for. The B S C is the ticker. BSC is the text that you see in the box. Dot IC1. IC1 is the market identifier code. So I, eventually you just kind of memorize it, but if you click on Port to Station Commodity Exchange, you'll see that there's a row here. It says market identifier code, and it says IC1. It stands for Institute Cooperative 1. So if I do that, it's the same thing as if I went through all the clicking. I can do the same thing with MCG. CXOB MCG dot IC1. So now I have these two buffers up and it can see what one BSE costs and one MCG costs. And also I could buy them. So let's go place order. 12 BSC and I just want to buy it outright at 1540. I hit buy. Next, I need 40 MCG. And I'm going to buy it at 35. And I'm going to hit buy. So it looks like actually is I can probably afford, because altogether that's around 20, I can afford another rig if I wanted. Um, I could do that, but uh, because this is a, t a test dummy account, I don't want to like market manipulate too much. So I'm just going to leave it at one for now. So I, I effectively bought one rig, the parts for one rig. So what I need to do is when my ship arrives, which it's two hours, four minutes away, I'm going to click the cargo button or the, or the, the cargo bar here or the cargo button either way. And you're just going to drag the materials to the, your ship and then after that, you're going to fly back to Promotor. Unload it, and you do basically do the same steps you did in the uh, when getting started. Now, once you do that, I've mentioned this earlier, you're going to get another active slot. Not a separate column, you're going to get another row under a rig. So it's going to effectively look like... It's going to look like this, but, you know, there's only going to be two of them. So you're going to see, like... One, you're going to see like two orders followed by a bunch of queued slots. I switched to my main account, just so you guys are aware. All right. Um, other stuff you can do. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of, uh, that's, that's kind of the best way to get started. Do you think this game helps with salesmanship later in life? Once you get the experience. Um, salesmanship's not the right word. Salesmanship, in my mind, I guess, is um, more of like, hey, you want to work in sales. This is kind of teaches you kind of logistics and teaches you um, just kind of like the organizational aspect, like accounting kind of in many regards too, or like, you know, planning for stuff uh, in an actual company. I, I, I would say it, it sort of does. Um, Honestly, the uh, the biggest part that will help you is if you really get sucked into the spreadsheet bit. Uh, because you, you basically end up, uh, once you get to that point, you're like, you start learning spreadsheets. Like, you absolutely just kind of start learning how to automate a bunch of stuff. Um, that bit is probably more helpful. Uh, but uh, there there is... I, I would say it definitely is uh, helpful in terms of like, you know, going towards the, your professional life and sometimes it can be, yeah. I mean, that, that, that being said, like, it is a game. You can play how you want. Um, so, for example, to give the example is uh, uh, the, the corporation I'm in, we're 
communist, not really communist, but whatever. Uh, everyone calls us space commies. We, we don't really interact with other people. We kind of just trade amongst ourselves and grow. Um, so the game, it, it becomes a little different, right? It's not about, you know, making the most money. It's not about the profit. It's about uh, how do we properly balance all the outputs and inputs and how do we trade effectively and how do we make sure everyone's, you know, like, so, so going back to this, right? Um, you'll see that I have, again, I have like two bases that all they do is just make water, right? And I have, what, 30, 35 rigs on one and 35 rigs on the other. So what I do is I give that water to somebody else to, or I ship it to somewhere, somebody else, and they make either water with it, drinking water, uh, because raw water can't be drink, drank in the game, but, uh, or they use it for other purposes and other production lines. And in return, they give me the stuff to actually get my workers going. Um, so there's different ways to play, and I will say that uh, the 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 FIO the FIO way whatever I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, and I made the thing. Um, the 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 corporation way of playing isn't really the best route if you're a new player in my mind because it kind of like skips over a major part, which is the you know the selling of stuff. So going back to this, uh, did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Um, I was going to go over something else, um, and I escaped me. Um, so I guess I, I oh yeah, I'll just go over some kind of like pro tips, so to speak. Um, some things you can do. So let's go back to the start page here. Um, a major, oh, like one kind of kind of cool thing that you can do is you can click on com here, and you can make a new group. Okay. What a group is, is just kind of like, it's just a chat room. So, um, so let's say I make a, I'm going to, I'm going to do something called price check. Okay. So I made a group called price check. I'm the only person in this group. No one can join this unless I explicitly add them to the group chat. However, what you can do is you can do something. So you can type tickers in the chat and then you can get up to date prices at a glance. So I can do rat dot ic1 dw dot ic1 ove dot ic1 pwo dot ic1 and cough dot ic1. And now, as the price changes, this chat is going to get auto updated. So what I can do is, you know, I can do stuff like, hey, oh my gosh, overalls are really cheap for some reason. I should go. I should buy some, right? Or, hey, well, rations is super expensive. I should sell my excess because I, that's what I make, right? Like, you, there's there's also 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 sorts of things there. Uh, Gaming BT, are the items in the game based on real world prices? No. Uh, I, I, there, I'm not sure what you mean by real world prices. If you're saying, like, hey, drinking water in comparison to actual drinking water nowadays, no, it's not. There's no real world pricing. There's also no real currency that it's representable with real world currency in the game there's it's not like hey um what is it like uh eve online has uh you could buy months of eve online that has a price in game there's no concept of that that's not actually implemented i think they have sort of plans for that but they're kind of still deciding so there's really no there's no real world like real world like equivalent um and these prices will change drastically as people play the game like there you're, you're gonna see that there's all sorts of like swings and stuff like that in the game uh so let's see here let's um i wonder if this actually works right now i haven't actually done this um have i played past the bag style no but i've heard that their spreadsheets are incredible the spreadsheets can remind you. Okay, so um, to give you, to, yeah, uh, to give you an idea of how prices can change, um, like let's see, IC one. So you can see that, like, hey, Pioneer consumable costs will go up and down. So the, um, like, you'll see that there was a serious drop as of. It's not showing me that. Oh yeah, kind of is, but I have to like. It hit around what? It looks like it was like 83. It was really cheap. 
um, yesterday. Cause it's over. Let's see if I can bring it down to like 10 days or something. And show moving averages. Let's see. So yeah, you can kind of see like the price does go up and down. Uh, if you go back like 180 days, let's see, let's see what happens here if it doesn't die. Um, the prices go up and down based on market fluctuations. Like, hey, they were cheaper a while ago, now they're more expensive, and you can attribute that to what you want. You can say that there's some inflation. You can say that, you know, there's there are some times that there's some major players that drop out of the game and prices skyrocket. Uh, probably the reason coffee is so high, for example, is one of the guys that traditionally has made lots of coffee has stopped playing. Um, he was the biggest coffee producer in the entire universe. Um, so, you know, the price of coffee has skyrocketed because the supply has gone down. Um, yeah, you can see the cost of prefabs has gone up drastically, too, over time. So, sure, there's probably an element of inflation in play. It's hard to tell. Um, so as I mentioned, some that that was one of the pro tips. You can kind of see at a glance the price of stuff. It looks like somebody actually bought out all the coffee. Yeah, so somebody actually bought. Uh, we were looking at this earlier, and it was six ninety nine. Somebody bought it out, and now the price of coffee is seven fifteen. Um, that's just you know like it's just gonna change from day to day based on you know how 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 things sell. Uh, another thing you could do to save on screen real estate that a lot of some people aren't aware of is um, say I have, I don't know, CX, IC1, and hey, I don't want to stare at this all day, right? What you can do is you can split vertically like I did here, right? There's two halves. And you can just kind of drag this all the way to the top. And you can see a little bit of it here, but... You know, it's just there so you can go like, oh, okay, I want to use it. I want to switch the stuff. Let's take a look at prices. Okay, I'm done. Right? Hide it. Um, that's one thing you could do there. Um, let's see, what else? I went over the private group with the... Oh, duh, you guys can't actually see this. Sorry. My, my, my face is in the way. Sorry. I put it down over here, but you can see that, hey, the price of coffee shows, PWO, OVE drinking water, rations, like it, it's going to update live as people buy it. Uh, what else? Um, is there, is there uh, any other specific questions anyone ha has? I'm happy to go through stuff again if necessary. Uh, I know I went over it pretty quickly, but there's basically going to be a lot of spreadsheets. I have other videos that go a little further in depth. Um, I could jump into spreadsheets. Snake game, no, I am in Chicago. Not in Texas. Um, yeah, I guess I can jump into spreadsheets um, a little bit here. It's, just, it's gonna be pretty basic, but. Um, so there is a unofficial API that uh, myself and a few others have uh, created for the game. It's called FIO, or FIO, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. But what you can do is you can go to pct.finar.net slash FIO, F-I-O, um, and you can see that it's going through some Google Sheets stuff for you. That's really basic. So let's go to sheets.google.com. Apparently it wants me to log in, so I guess we're going to do that. Okay. Am I a programmer? Yes, that is what I do for my career. I am actually game dev, but I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, so uh, let's go back to, let's add some tabs here, pctfinar.net file, and then we'll go to doc.finar.net. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the CSV. Or, uh, this is the CSV endpoints or comma separated um, endpoints for spreadsheets. So what you can do is you can do something like this. So it says, hey, public data is a data that is in user data. So this is kind of the um, 
anyone can use this. You don't have to have a FIO account and stuff like that, or nor have the FIO extension running. Um, but what you could do is you make a new spreadsheet. Let's turn off uh, dark mode here so it looks familiar. Oh, it's bright. Jeez. Never mind. We'll put it on dark mode. I'm sorry, guys. Jeez. Whew. Um, what you can do is you can paste in import data, um, refs.finar.net, CSV prices. And what this will do is it will load from the server the prices. Um, and it'll have every ticker. This 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 um, endpoint or this this command will update roughly every 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it's going to depend on Google. Google decides whenever it feels like it when to update it because it has its own cache. But you can see like, hey, I have okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna name this sheet prices, and I have all this information, right? So let's find drinking water for example. Drinking water is right here, and I need to can I force this row? How do I do that? How do I force this row to always be visible? I thought there was a way to do that. Anyways, I don't know. So I don't know how to do that exactly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to find IC1 and we're going to get the average price. Okay, so this row. So we're going to find drinking water, which is 104 here. I'm going to scroll right. going for 84.5. That is the average price of drinking water. Let's see if that matches up with what we see in game. 84.5. Yeah. So that's what's that's it's matching, right? So um, effectively what you can do is you can use all sorts of uh, spreadsheet manipulation like VLOOKUP. Um, and man, I haven't done this in forever. So let's see. VLOOKUP search key uh, DW, I think. Range is going to be A1 to well, A2 to what? AS344, I think. So it's. And I think you have to specify, what is it, sheets? Or so prices? Exclamation park? I don't remember how to do VLOOKUP, man. I'm so tired. You'll have to forgive me. I've been in hospital rooms for God knows how long, probably 10, 10 months at this point for my son. Um, so let's see. So you specify, okay, VLOOKUP looks for an exact match of the last name. So, okay, so VLOOKUP is only horizontal lookup. Okay, so you know what? I, I've decided that I am way too tired to actually go through this again. I do have another video, um, YouTube, and it's youtube.com at Saganaki Prune. And I'll put this video up there as well, but uh, there's a spreadsheet walkthrough where I'm like kind of showing it all off, and I show off how to retrieve private information as well. Private information is like, hey, I have the file extension installed. I want to pull all of my uh, base data, stuff like that. Yeah, I can do that. It's easy. Um, so you can kind of go through. There, there's also my other stuff. I have other uh, videos and such like that. Um, this one was kind of just off the cuff, uh, this, this video. So I'm not really exactly prepared. But uh, effectively, what you can do is you can use the anything in the CSV section, right? If you wanted to get material information, you can do CSV materials. Let's see what that does, just so I know. So it's import data, HTTPS, rest.pinar.net, CSV material. Is it material? Materials. You hit enter. And yeah, so you can get like the ticker, the category, the weight, the volume. Um, so it's got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, there are some things that are at the, towards the bottom, which is like, hey, you need to specify an API key and a username. I go over that in the video. Um, you can see all the shipping ads available on a planet, right? So let's see. So it'd be, what is it? CSV local market ship. 
local market ship Promotor. Okay, it looks like there's no shipping ads on Promotor. Let's see if that is actually accurate or if it's broken. So let's find Promotor, click a local market. That is not accurate. Let's see if we can find out why. So local market ship Promotor, maybe it just needs to be updated. Here, let's see. Okay, yeah, so I just need it to be updated. Um, so it's it's showing up. It's just, it's the cache result. Again, Google caches uh, a bunch of this, these, this data, so it's going to vary. Uh, like sometimes it'll take tens of minutes before Google updates it. Um, but yeah, you can do that. You can start going crazy with your spreadsheets. Uh, as I mentioned, it is youtube.com slash at Saganaki Prune, P-R-U-N. So Saganaki underscore P-R-U-N to go there. Um, I'll, up this, I'll upload this video. Uh, but yeah, I hope that was helpful, guys. I know it was quick, but it was kind of just to help out um, Georgie Boy there uh, because he was having some trouble. Uh, and the game is super complex initially. So, But uh, stick through with it. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, even if you're just trial. Do it for a while. If you decide you enjoy the game, throw the devs a bone, buy a month of pro, and then you get, you can pick up shipping ads, for example, right? Um, so, yeah. Thanks, guys.